Welcome back trainers, Latios and Latios are going to be making a return, so if you're a newer trainer who has simply not found a shiny and or are looking for candies, this is going to be the time to do so. Personally for myself, I'm just going to be hunting for charged DMs and rare candies and if I get a shiny, that's going to be nice. I've already got a hundred of each, so I'm looking good already. Are they going to be good? We're going to be going over all of that PvP as well as going up against specific raids to see where they do rank. So they're going to be returning on January 24th at 1 p.m. until January 27th at 1 p.m. your local time zone. Now taking a look at Latios here, 100% IV non-weather boosted is going to be 2178. Weather boosted under windy weather is going to be 2723. Fast moves are going to be Zen Headbutt and Dragon Breath. Charge moves are going to be Solar Beam, Psychic, and Dragon Claw. Week 2, Bug, Dark, Dragon Fairy, Ghost, and Ice. And for the quick counter list here, we're going to be going over more specifics because when we do hop over to Poke Battler, the counter list is going to be slightly different here. But for this one, on Latios, we do have Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Outrage, Salamance, Dragon Tail and Outrage. Remember that Salamance with Outrage is a community day move, so do not try to TM into it because you will just waste your TMs. Then we have Garchomp, Dragon Tail and Outrage, Haxorus, which is that newly added Gen 5, Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw, Palkia, Dragon Tail and Draco Meteor, and then Dark Ride with Snarl and Dark Pulse. Now, if your Dark Ride does have Shadow Ball, don't worry about switching it. Shadow Ball is going to work perfectly fine. Save yourself the TMs. They're both about the same. The difference is Dark Pulse is going to be shooting off slightly faster, while Shadow Ball is going to be a little bit slower, but doing ever so slightly more damage. But you don't really need to focus on that too much. So there you have it for that one. Now moving into Latias, 100% IV non-weather boosted is going to be 2006. Weather boosted under windy weather is going to be 2507. Quick moves are going to be Zen Headbutt, Dragon Breath, and Charm. You're going to have to look out for that Charm, folks, if you're going to be using Dragon types. Charged moves are going to be Thunder, Psychic, and Outrage. Weaknesses are going to be the same as the other. Quick top counters for this one are going to be Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Outrage, Palkia with Dragon Tail, Draco Meteor, Salamance, Dragon Tail, and Outrage, Garchomp, Dragon Tail, and Outrage, Dragonite, Dragon Tail, and Outrage, and then Haxorus with Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw. As far as making a Haxorus, I am not too keen on it right now. I like to make a lot of these newer Pokemon that are introduced to show you guys, you know, make the power of videos, but I feel like it's a pretty steep investment to evolve it, power it up, get a good one, and then after all of that, the community day rolls around. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Now hopping over to Poke Battle or taking a look at plenty more counters here. Let's go ahead and see what they have here. Going up against Latios. Very interesting how the counters are switched up ever so slightly. So they do have Rayquaza in that number one spot. It's going to be number one no matter what, folks. Yes, it's going to be going down if they have dragon moves, but it's still going to be putting off a ton of damage. And then you have Dialga in that number two spot with Dragon Breath and Draco Meteor. So remember, it is going to be part Steel type, that Dialga. So it will neutralize the dragon moves on it. And then Palkia in that number three spot, Salamence and Ford. Garchomp, Dragonite, Darkrai, Haxorus, and then moving into the next page, starting from 9 to 16, you have Giratina Origin Form with Dragon Tail and Shadow Ball, Chandelure with Hex and Shadow Ball, it's going to be nice to use that, Latios itself with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw, Hydreigon, but these Pokemon still do work if you're rolling with a big group and you just want to get it over with, Togekiss is going to be a nice tanky option as well. And then moving into the next one here for the top counters, this time around, number one is going to be Dialga with Dragon Breath and Draco Meteor. That is because if it does have Charm, I think it's going to be resisting it uh, ever so slightly as opposed to Rayquaza. It's not going to be completely resisted. It's just going to be neutralized. Anyways, moving on to the number three is Palkia, then Garchomp, Latios, Salamence, kind of the same lineups here and then moving down the list and then finally itself at number 16 Gardevoir yet again is going to be another good option you're going to be doing super effective damage even in cloudy weather you're going to get a boost on those fairy types so remember that Latias cannot be duoed if you do not have windy weather so remember that if you're trying to take it out and then if you're going up against Latios that one can be duoed but if it does have psychic you better look out because it was recently buffed it's going to be spamming you quite frequently you're not going to be able to duo that unless you have windy weather now over here on pvp poke taking a look at the performance in the great league it's going to be okay they do have dragon claw it can be pretty spammy as well as dragon breath doing a ton of damage so it is looking okay but as far as getting these through the raids and using them in the great league you're not going to be able to do that you're going to have to actually have gotten these through your 
uh, weekly breakthrough. So maybe you have a few of those lying around for somebody else who missed that opportunity. So they're, they're doing not too great in the Great League, but moving into the Ultra League, uh, Latias is ranked 34, and it's calling for Dragon Breath, Psychic, and Outrage. Good against Armored Mewtwo, Dragonite, Deoxys, Defense Form, Machamp, and Meganium. And then just getting absolutely demolished by the Charmers as well as the Ice types. And then looking at Latias here, it is going to be ranked a little bit lower than that one. Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Psychic. Good against Suicune, Armor Mewtwo, Deoxys, Defense, Charizard, and Regirock. And then it's just, yet again, going to get destroyed by the Fairy types. And then moving into the Master League, do believe this is where they're going to be performing a little bit better. Yes, Latios is number 22 with Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Psychic. And then Solar Beam at a 9%. Good against Giratina, Alter, that's key. Snorlax, Garchomp, Kyogre, and Swampert. So those are top hitters there. Uh, so this thing does have usability. And yet again, Togekiss, Gardevoir, Fairy, Pokemon are going to wreck it because of that charm. And then Latias is going to be ranked 32, Dragon Breath, and then uh, Charm at 11%, Psychic, and Outrage. Good against Kyogre, Swampert, uh, Regirock, Suicune, and Groudon. So the performance in PvP is going to be decent in Ultra, and then moving into the Masters, that is where they're going to really shine. So they're not bad there. Do you want to purchase a secondary move? If you're all about them, then sure, go ahead and go for it. As far as going up against raids, let's go ahead and take a look at Machamp. We have Mewtwo in that number one spot and then Latios in number two. Thanks to the buff to Psychic, it was moved up because it is going to be better than Future Sight. So Zen Headbutt and Psychic, it's going to take three of those Latios. And then Mewtwo is going to take two of those with a time to win on the Mewtwo, 97 seconds. And then the Latios is going to be 123, followed up by Moltres, Alakazam, Espeon, and then Metagross. Moving into a Nidoking raid, the number one counter is going to be Mewtwo, of course, followed up by Kyogre and its newly added move Surf, Alakazam, Mamoswine, Espeon, and then finally Latios in that number six spot with Zen Headbutt and Psychic. It's going to take 14 of those with a time to win of 339 seconds compared to Mewtwo with Confusion and Psy Strike with 263 and then Kyogre with 341. And then Keldeo looking at the future if we do get this in the raids, possibly. It's going to be a water and fighting type. You have Mewtwo, of course. And then looking at Latios with Zen Headbutt and Psychic, it's going to take 22 of those. The Mewtwo is going to take 21. The Mewtwo with a time to win of 524 seconds. And then the Latios with a time to win of 663. Quite a significant jump. You almost just want to invest in your Mewtwo's at this point. But if you want to use your Latios in Master League, power it up, then you will have that counter ready to go for specific raids. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my Pokemon that I do have lined up here. We have a Garchomp that I can simply TM that Mudshot away. It did purchase that secondary move, so we're good to go on that. I do believe the Heatrans are going to be spawning at the same time, so I may have to fluctuate between the moves or just decide on which ones I want to go with. Uh, my Dialga here, that's lucky. I haven't completely maxed it out quite yet, but I probably should get on that right now and at least have that one all the way maxed out. My 100% IV Rayquaza, I have a few of these powered up as well as several Luckies ready to go. The only reason why I'm kind of hesitant is I feel like we're going to get Dragon Ascent in the future and I just don't want to make too many of those. Of course, we have Outrage Salamence, which is going to be performing magnificently and uh, you may want to throw that in your party, of course. And then we went over those other counters. If you're going to be going in there with big, big groups, you don't really need the top counters to, you know, take this thing out, right? You can throw in a few tanky options like uh, Togekiss or Gardevoir, things that are going to be resisting the dragon moves, and you should be looking good to go. Now, personally for myself, I'm going to be running three Rayquazas. If I do decide to power up another one, then I'll have four, followed up by a Garchomp, a Dialga for a bit of tankiness. And then at the end, I think I'll throw in a Salamance, possibly with Outrage, that Community Day move. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends if you did find it useful. And I'll be keeping you posted on everything that's going to be happening in Pokemon Go. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.